Hi, I am Brienne from Miss Duncan's awesome fifth grade class. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? <laughs> Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now it's time for Bear TV News. Good morning, Brooklyn Bears, and welcome to Bear TV News. I am Janie. And I am Jackson. Today is Monday, November 12th. In today's news, it's been a busy couple of weeks in Brain Boosters. The Golden, the Golden Awards for the month of October were given out, including Mrs. Wallen's Morning Kindergarten. Plus, there's been reward parties and, and an extra special assignment in technology. Check it out. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when we're part of the team. Mrs. Wallen's class got the Golden Keyboard. We are so awesome! Can we do a silent cheer? And let's do good job. Here we go. G O L D J O B. Good job. Good job. One more time. G O L D J O B. Good job. Good job. Congratulations, Mrs. Wallen's class. Nice work. Everything is awesome. Alright, so our fourth grade students are going to be creating stop motion videos for their creative communicator unit this year. Um, this is going to be super fun. Their theme is safe, kind, and responsible. And so they have been given a setting, like for example, this setting is outside Brookwood, the crosswalks, the, the bus drop off zone. So these are my student characters. Um, we will also be able to have specific teacher characters. This one could obviously be Mr. Herzog. This one could be a variety of our teachers, Mrs. Rotterman, Mrs. Carr. And then we're going to have a Principal Barrett character and a Mr. Nilsson, um, Jeff, our wonderful custodian. Uh, we even have a Brookwood Bear mascot character coming. So our fourth grade friends are going to be making these videos. It's really cool. Why is it cool? Well, because you get to play with Legos and other stuff. So for the script, what should it say? Can take it time to go outside and like, And then they just start walking out. Well, so I've made a lot of stop motion videos at my house. There will be a competition for the best stop action video and the winning videos will be shown on Bear TV. We also want to report a lot of other fun things happening at Brookwood as well. First grade learning about weather and hands-on science, career day and Mrs. Rotterman's class making the holiday ornament ornaments and decorating the governor's mansion Christmas tree. Just like we did on Monday, okay, because we need smaller groups, and So the equipment that we use when we're making movies is very, very specialized. 
very, very expensive, okay? Because where we're making the movie is called the set, because it's the setting, it's where the movie is made, right? Where when you're trying to sell someone, if I were to come up Rob and say, yo, Blue, what's up, my man, will you buy this from me? He's like, wait, I'm confused. You have to build rapport, you have to get to know the person. So, it's a great job for if you also want to be home and be a mom, so. Take a little bit of their hair, you put the extension in, and then you put the other hair right over it. My job title, as Mrs. Evelyn said, is a pediatric nurse practitioner. Okay. Um, at the end, I'll have you guys ask me questions. Okay. And then we took it up to the shop and we put some fabric in the printer and loaded the file, and we've got this big digital fabric printer. <laughs> Today's playground weather is going to be sunny but cold. I hope you wore your jacket. The forecast for the rest of the week is cloudy and in the mid 40s. Now back to Jackson. Next up, let's check in with Capri for a birthday shout out. It's time to recognize those for Capri who are turning one year older if you're. If you are celebrating your birthday any day this week, please stand in your classroom while we see, wish you a happy birthday. Everyone, please join us by singing the happy, the happy birthday song. Ready? Jamie. Thank you, Capri. Joining us in studio for our great TV teacher feature is Nash. It is time for the Bear TV edition of Teacher Feature, where we give out clues about one of our amazing teachers here at Brooklyn, and you try to guess who it is. Clue one: If she wasn't a teacher, she would be a bed and breakfast owner. Clue two. The food she dislikes most is sushi. Sushi. Clue three. The top of her bucket list is to build a dream house. Clue four. Her favorite sports team is BYU. Today's lucky teacher will receive a prize in their email after their TV. Can you guess who this teacher is? You are right if you guessed. Mrs. Smith. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Until next time. Now back to Jackson. And now. And now it's time for the fun fact of the week. Today we have fourth grade students from Mrs. Smith's and Mr. Herzog's fourth grade class. This is the state that I'm from, the state that I rep, and I'm a big it up till the day I'm a dead because you see. Good morning, Brooklyn Bears. I am Sophia. I'm Ariana. And I'm Ryder. And I'm Zach. And in fourth grade, we get to learn all about the great state of Utah. Today I'm going to share a fun fact with you. By 1846, at least six wagon trains had made trails through Utah. Yet none of these travelers wanted to stop and settle on this barren desert covered with sage, sagebrush. They, they had heard that the, the fertile valleys of California were only 500 miles away. However, this is the kind of area the Mormons were looking for. Now back to Jamie. Wow, Utah is a pretty great place, place to live. Up next, we have a Brookwood Bulletin here to update us on what is happening 
at our school, Lily. It is Lily. So what you working with? Show me, show me. What you working with? Show me, show me. Hi, I'm Lily. Here to update you on important information that is happening right here at Brookwood. So how was your week? Mine was awesome. So the Brookwood store is booming and Mrs. Bolton has a few new items for sale and a special announcement for this week's month school incentive. Miss Bolton at the school store here. We have some new stuff and I want to show them to you. So we have these stretchy little lizard guys, which are kind of cool. They stretch out really far and they're kind of sticky. They're kind of fun. There's like some alien dudes. We have googly eyed rings. So all kinds of colors. We have yellow, all kinds of stuff, but they're just kind of fun. The eyes move a little bit. Um, these are dinosaur head toppers for your pencil and they're also erasers. So look how scary that guy is. And then over here, we have little pencil toppers. They're just kind of fun little guys. That's a little owl. We have a little donkey. So that's two bear bucks. And then we have over here for five bear bucks, these windmills. So we have different colors and they're just kind of fun. You can blow them and they move. They're just, they're really cool. And Miss Marissa spent a lot of time putting these together. So and we have pretty fall colors if you want one of those and they look like leaves so I hope that you guys like the new stuff that we have for you see you at the school store so this month for November our incentive is a hot chocolate bar so this is going to be so fun we'll do it the last day of November which is a Friday we'll do it during your recess and it will be so nice because it will be kind of chilly outside so you guys, when you go out to recess, you can go get your hot chocolate, put some marshmallows in it, maybe a candy cane if you want. It will be super fun. So our goal for this month is 2,000 bear bucks. So we, today is our first day of the school store, so we don't have any, but we have to get all the way up here so that we can earn our hot chocolate bar. So make sure you guys are following the school rules. Be safe, kind, and responsible. And let's do this. It will be a fun month. Bye guys. One another announcement this week, um, the Brooklyn Reflections Assembly will be this Thursday. We can't wait to see what all the talented artists have entered in this year's competition. Now back to Jackson. Thank you, Lily. And don't forget that today is a green air day. Please join us in singing our Brookwood Bears song. Watching the clouds away.